from Nelson Muntz. Go on. Ha, ha. Uh, sorry about that. So, Mrs. Simpson, the reason you're here... Let me guess. You need a field trip, Mom. We're here to talk about Bart. <sighs> what did he do now? Oh, today I'm not here to talk about what he did. I'm here to talk about the future. <sighs> what did he do in the future? What if Bart took music lessons? Music classes could channel his destructive impulses into artistic expression. I myself have been taking flamenco lessons. Well, stupid clock. My head hairs! Get in there! Woohoo! No! Oh! TV's gotten so lousy. Sweetie, did you ever think of doing something a little more creative with your time? Something musical. You could take advantage of a fantastic musician living right here. My dear boy, you undoubtedly think of the side whistle as merely a whistle that slides. Let me disabuse you of that misperception. Behold, from the pages of Dune and Dune Messiah, Gurney Halleck's beloved zither, the Balisset. Pass. New student, sit at piano, my daughter teach you. So, you want lesson? Yes, I want lesson. I accept your whip. Ah, Mr. Homer, I see you are wearing the bald man's beret. Is it that obvious? Oh, yes. The only thing that screams I am hiding hairlessness more is a goatee. Maybe I should wear a cowboy hat. A cowboy hat means I'm ashamed of my small penis. Don't even ask me what this means. <laughs> Yeehaw! I'm a compensating. So, how much are lessons? I give you something you want, you give me something I want. Here's my offer. My daughter give lessons, you teach me to drive car. There might be some nagging involved. Deal! Now we toast with vodka. <laughs> Those two hairs were what was left of my youth, Mo. Hey, come on. They're sexy, bald, like, um... Well, let me see how bald you are, Ma. Whoa, whoa! Dear Lord, here, hey, oh, you need this more than I do. Yeah. Ah. Hmm. Where are you going, Bart? Piano lesson. <laughs> Piano lesson. Wait, wait, I'm not learning anything. I'm just going because the teacher's pretty. Okay, but you'd better steal bananas for all of us. I will! Let me go. I have a swim lesson with a gorgeous lifeguard. <laughs> Accident. Okay, let's try again. Hey, your baseball cap's one plastic bump tighter than usual. What gives? Okay, guys, here's the deal. I've gone bald. <gasps> you sound seriously depressed. Why don't we talk about it over a mose? It's not even noon. Yeah, I gotta watch, Egghead. I couldn't help overhearing your predicament. Been bald since I was 23. With the money I've saved, I bought a yacht. Whoa. You're cool with it? I haven't even told my wife. You wait for the right moment, you show her that glorious dome, and then you rest it sweetly on her bosom and let the kisses flow like rain. Whoa. Is that what your wife did? No wife. I just slept with thousands of bald women. <laughs> Now, memorize. Every good Boris deserves farm. Let me try. Every good booger deserves flicking. Your tongue is nimble, unlike sausage fingers. Vestu, drugoi e yunya, blamekin. Whoopee. Scales! Lesson over. Lesson over! I'm sorry, officer. I believe my license is uh, somewhere in these pairs of easy fit blue jeans. Eh? Eh? I'm just gonna lie down in the back seat here. Yeah. Ah, ah, ah. <sighs> 
What's wrong? Every note you play sounds like dying animal writhing on keys. Awesome! I just want to get more students and help my father with his dream. I am so proud. I would have been happy if Bart was just a piano mover. Can you teach my monkey? Then I can deal with the musicians' union instead of the humane society. Much easier to muscle. Zenya, I couldn't have done it without you. And you. Something smells fishy. Yeah, that would be me. But I agree, there's something funny here. Is it me? No. No. <laughs> Caught your recital, Bart. Lisa, isn't it great to have a musical genius in the family? I guess Bart must be a musical genius because frauds are always found out. My work is done. Now to reward myself with a case of wine. Hi, Zenya. I'm here for my lesson. Good to see you, my love. Sit on porch. But if I got you all these students, shouldn't you be grateful? Oh, of course I'm grateful. Here is cushion for porch chair. Go to Badaboom. Mom, you'd still be proud of me if I couldn't play the piano, right? Of course. But very, very, very angry at all the time I wasted. You'll need your voice to say thanks, Mom, after your next recital. My what? I signed you up for the Ten and Below talent show next week. Huh? First of all, you're over ten years old. Second, you're clearly Justin Bieber. That's another 25 bucks we'll never see. Gosh! No, oh, I'm sorry. I was faking it. But there's really only one girl whose opinion matters to me. My mom. I'd like to go home now. And to think you'd do this on Mother's Day. And I'm really ashamed that I lied. Excuse me. Mrs. Marge, I took my driver's test. Did you pass? More or less. In Russia, everyone succeeds by cheating. Even Russian dressing is just Thousand Island. <gasps> but your son is a good boy. He cheated for love, and he cheated for you. Listen, sweetie, it was wrong of me to force my dreams on you. Yeah, your generation won't have any dreams come true. And that means no punishment, right? Wrong. You have to walk all the way over to Grandpa to take a plate of cookies I bake. March. <sighs> I have something to show you. I've always wondered what you were hiding under your curly locks. My beautiful yellow melon. Mm -hmm. Thank you, God. <laughs> <laughs>